It's official. It's been 30 days with Baby Vegan or Tate. And well, we're, we're parents. <laughs> we are. And we just wanted to like, I don't know, like what do you think about 30 days with the baby? I think what most people would be shocked to know is that babies are actually born months before they're ready to take on the world. It's because our brains are so big and a woman's pelvis is so small, we actually have to be pre-birth before we're ready. So they actually call it the fourth trimester. And you'll be shocked to know that the baby can barely see, has no idea what's going on. Doesn't know who you are. It just poops, pees, feeds, and cries. sleeps and cries. That's it. <laughs> And so it's the first 30 days that are really challenging because you're expecting a little cuddle monster and instead you get a real monster. Yeah, I knew what to expect for the first trimester, the second trimester, the third trimester. Did they just not tell you about the fourth trimester? I, I seriously thought it was just going to be this cute, cuddly, loving baby and then... And really he's a rabid raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Like when we when we first took him home, like I never changed a diaper before. Mr. Vegan never, we never even you know held a baby. We're gonna show you all the products that kind of have helped us out in this 30 days. And my favorite thing, my first mommy necklace. Let me help you with that. That looks a little heavy. Okay. Since we're co-sleeping with Tate, it was important for us to get a quality mattress since ours was so soft and lumpy. We did do a lot of research and chose Yoga Bed for its hypoallergenic, non-toxic, and harmless qualities. I'm putting Tate in a doctor pad at night when we're not breastfeeding as well. Alright, Miss Vegan, why did we get this yoga bed? We're gonna do yoga on the bed? I just said we didn't get it when I was pregnant. I know. It's so comfortable. Look at the seamless edges and the removable cover. Yeah, the whole cover comes off and you wash it every 90 days and your bed remains allergen free forever. So little Tatey doesn't have any dust mite allergies. <laughs> Let's see how much you're weighing. Oh, look at that. So this is a papoose. And this holds him in there so you can change his diaper without him squiggling away. Cool ass sunglasses, baby aiders. One of the most essential things in the nursery is of course the changing table since you'll be spending a lot of time here. I chose this one from Ikea. I love the orange drawers. The wipe warmer is Tate's essential item. If I stick a cold wipe on his booty, he gets so mad. And of course the diaper bin with a lid to keep out all the smells. These changing pads are a must to save you from loads and loads of extra laundry from leaky diapers. We use G diapers, which are cloth washable diapers with compostable inserts or seventh generation eco diapers. It all depends on how much laundry we've done that day, really. We have tons and tons of burp cloths because Tate, he loves to spit up. We receive so many adorable, non-toxic, organic toys from our friends and family. Thank you. Oh, and along with so many cute little clothes for Tate to wear. And in the last room, we keep all the extra diapers, wipes, and toiletries. And in the sides, we keep all the pillows and blankets. Our number one newborn essential, the Dakotat. It was specially designed to prevent sieves with its rounded edges and breathable fabric that unzips and washes so easily. All right, so babies are born with like a full set of fingernails and toenails, and we use these little emery boards to keep him from scratching himself. But you'll notice babies will scratch themselves all over their face if, you, if you're not on them. So Tate has a pretty charmed life here. If you're interested in seeing my unboxing video, I'll link that up above. That's how we brought Tate into this world. <laughs> you're the best box that I've ever opened. So we give Tate about five stars. I give him a five out of five. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the kind of one that gets better with age. Oh, we love you. Thumbs up here. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified because our next video is going to be a rice cooker giveaway and you don't want to miss that. Okay, I'm going to show everybody how to calm a fussy baby. So this is Mr. Fussy Pants. He is the fussiest baby on the planet 
and I have done all of the things that you learn about for calming babies. I've tried the best baby on the block where you take them sideways and you swaddle them real tight and none of that works for long. So what I've noticed is the best thing for this little guy is the football hold. So the football hold is where you put his jaw on your hand, you let him ride on your forearm like that and then you keep him close you know, you're not choking him or anything. You're, he's fully supported on your forearm and his jaw on your hand. And then you just shake him. And you can keep him close. And if you're, you know, really tired, you can use two hands like this. And they just love this. It supports their stomach, helps their, uh, you know, you can burp him like this too. But it helps all the gas get out and the poops go down. Additionally, there's another YouTube video where you're also supporting them like this. And you give them a little butt wiggle. And that works too with a little, little uh, bouncing up and down like that. And he'll actually fall asleep like this, even with me talking this loud. So again, this is what I found to be the most effective method of calming a baby.